Limping is fun. You get to play a lot of hands. Yeah, I agree. Ready? I like limping. Six handed oh, poker to me is fine. I mean, I know a lot of people freak out, like, ah! Fill up the table! Blah, blah, blah. As if, like, more people at the table would promote more action. I'm not a huge fan of heads up poker. I like playing it. But I think, like, watching it can be a little bit boring unless you get some crazy action. But I like three handed, four handed. That's all. That's good. Six handed for sure. Sign me up. You started with 20 or 25? 20, 20. And look at this here. Four bet from Mariano. A call from Lingland. Usually you're calling with 85 suited thinking, okay, well, I've got live cards. Little does she know she's dominated. Yeah, Jimmy's got it right. Usually, unfortunately, more people actually is more often than not less action. Jesse Powell, second hand in, and we're seeing the uh, $3,000 four bets with 10 8 suited. And then a call from 8 5 suited. And Henry is, is considering his options. I don't, I don't think a five bet is out of order here. I mean, I don't think it's out of the question. He's just going to call. <laughs> Henry, what the hell? You know, you I lost. I haven't warmed two up yet. I don't what know. <laughs> Henry, I got a roll for you. <laughs> <laughs> All that time, just no, to I call. know, just to call. <laughs> Mariano, pretty good flop for his hand. Remember, he was the four better. He's the one who's going to have kings and queens. Those kind of hands. Uh, should have. He happens to have a flush draw, some backdoor straight should equity. Henry's going to call, though, with ace high. The when you win the night before. And you Bink, there you go. Henry has the ace of diamonds, yeah. folks. Yeah. Yeah. Mariano's made the flush. Just two hands exactly. in, we got some real action. 17,000 in the pot already. And six off, everything. You like five, three off, and you hit like a straight on the fucking turn. Yeah. Four, six off, three best straight. Ten, six off. I couldn't beat you last night. Two pair. The only people beating me last night was Luda. Yeah. Henry's got 42, eight behind. Mariano now goes 6 4 into 17. Yeah, he'll keep three bets. I, I can't imagine Henry going anywhere, right? I mean, I remember, I remember he knows obviously the diamond comes like, off. He's probably like, good. Like he probably assumes that he <laughs> might even be good if he hits an ace or a jack. <laughs> yeah. No, kidding at ace king. <laughs> <laughs> so he chops, he chops. Yeah, he managed to chop. <laughs> it was just funny. 23-7 <laughs> in the pot, 6,400 to call. Yeah. I remember that Hank was watching with and Henry is <laughs> contemplating a raise here with the ace of diamonds. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like he's dialing up. And... Look at uh, look at Mariano. He is just salivating. Yes, yummy, yummy, in my tummy. Raised from Henry to nineteen five. And Mariano is just like, well, you got me. You got me. Flush. You have a flush. Yes. Um. Twice. Whatever he wants. Hundred and three thousand dollar pot. Henry looking for a diamond to chop it up. And that is not a diamond. That is not a diamond. Yeah, I started with a hundred. Now Henry's regretting not four betting. Yeah, Mariano has him I mean, yeah, Mariano has him covered. And right out of the gate, two hands in, we got a hundred and three thousand dollar pot. It's just insane. One bet, ten eight, hit flush. <laughs> Hello, Chris F. Hello, Arturo. Hello, everybody. Uh, Brown baller with aces. Big Nate with the flush draw. Henry with a pair of tens.
I know there are sites out there that kind of keep track of who's up and down on Hustle Casino Live. I don't do it. We don't really do it here for uh, some pretty obvious reasons, but I know there are sites out there that do it. Like I said, that's how I found out that, oh man, Brown Ball hits a set of aces, Big Nate has got the flush. Uh, that's how I found out that Henry, my man, was up like a million dollars, which is insane. That's crazy. So Brown Baller with top set. You really need a home run here. The flush got there, Queen Jack got there, <laughs> and he checks. Henry's gonna bet. So Henry's betting with a pair of tens, a gut shot, and a live flush draw for what it's worth. Big Nate, just gonna call? Just gonna call. Brown Baller obviously gonna go nowhere, and I imagine there's not a ton of value in raising this when you get a bet and a call. I was going to say, he would love the board to pair, specifically a 10. And instead, it is the nine of hearts, and Big Nate is going to win a pretty sizable pot. If Henry bets here, that's really ambitious. Two players called it his $5,000 bet on the turn, right? I mean, he bet five into 10 and got called by two players. And here he is firing again. This is a man who's an optimist. And he is gonna go for it. He is gonna try to rep. He blocks the straight, he blocks the flush, and he is gonna go for it, unfortunately for him. He has walked right into Big Nate's nuts. Big Nate with the flush. And while he's got far from the nuts, he uh, was just $23,000 behind. That was all in for less. Yeah. And he's pretty uh, pretty happy to get it in. Look at this. Top set. Brown ball gets away from it. Aces. Henry, why? Oops, Henry. I mean, I, I, I brown baller got up, got away pretty cheap you considering. Got me off. I would have folded. But it gets interesting if you put let, let's say six teams to win and five of them win, and then you have another last game, you can. Yeah, the problem the with the parlay is, is that it's yeah. just not the true odds, so right? I, I mean, I they take the sure. odds of let's say you put five things to win, right? They take the odds of those five things, you know. And then they give you slightly worse what the actual odds would be. This is an above average flop for Mariano. Unfortunately for him, if diamonds come off, no, I'm sorry. Uh, unfortunately for him, it's unlikely that he'll, he'll hit diamonds. Sorry, I can't speak right now. Uh, but this could be, I mean, this could be an absolute, like, just dream scenario for Mariano. He's got top pair with the nut flush draw. Ling Lin drawing to a queen. Pretty much it. But can she rep a nine? Is there a world where she can rep the nine and get Mariano to fold? It's not going to happen now, but if she bets now and then bets again on the river, could it happen? For some reason, I looked at Mariano's hand really quick and I thought it was a jack high flush. And I was like, no, no, that's an ace high flush. That is the nut flush. Check, check. Oh, no diamond. So it could have been a really fun fireworky type hand. Is uh, going to be somewhat subdued. And I think as played, I don't think Ling Lin, I don't think a bluff is going to work here. No way. I mean, Queen 10 got there, but she didn't bet the turn. She's going to go for it. Oh, wow. She goes large here. 12,000. That is going to force Mariano to pause, shake his head, and decide. And, and, and it looks like I might be wrong. 
traditional bluff probably wouldn't have worked, but this sizing from Langlin, does it get Mariano to fold? I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. Got a bad feeling. Benny Blanco, that is the Ling I know. She checks back the turn and then bets the river. So it's like, okay, so what is she trying to tell? What story is she saying here? I mean, oh. Queen 10? Yeah. She makes the call. Sure. You're never folding. I didn't say anything. You're never folding that extra. That was a good block. I almost folded. Yeah, right. Should have bet 25 pounds.